Yo, what's up guys? So let's talk about synthetic division of polynomials. And synthetic division is just another way, other than long division, which we already went through, to divide polynomials and to get a quotient and to get a remainder. And it's a lot quicker to use than long division, however, it does come with some restrictions. So you can only use synthetic division if the divisor is linear or has a degree of one. So the divisor has to be in one of two forms. It has to be either in the x minus k form or the ax minus b form where a, b, and k are just any real number. And in this particular video, we're just going to go through the first case for now, the x minus k. In uh, future videos, we'll go over the ax minus b case. However, it's a little bit more complex and a lot more steps are required. So let's do an example here to show you how synthetic division works. And this particular example here is actually the same one that we used when we did the long division of polynomials overview. Just so you can compare both methods and see how both methods give you the same result. So we got x cubed plus 5x squared minus 32x minus 7 divided by x minus 4. Now with synthetic division, the first thing you always want to check is is the divisor, in this case x minus 4, is it linear? And it is linear, it has a degree of 1. And the next thing to check is, does it hold one of these forms? Is it x minus k or ax minus b? Well, it holds the form x minus k. It's the same form where the k value is 4. So with synthetic division, you always have to know what your k value is because you're going to be using it, as I'll show you in a sec. Once you find out that the divisor is linear, you have your k value, what you do is you make a chart. And the k value goes outside of the chart here, so we would write 4 up here. And then inside the chart in the top row, there's going to be two rows here. In the top row, we write the leading coefficients of the dividend. So the first one is 1. Next one is 5. Next one is negative 32. And the next one, the constant, is negative 7. So the first thing you always do is you bring this first term down. Okay, so under the line we would write 1. And the next step is you take this term that you have here and you multiply it by the k value of 4 or whatever your k value is in your particular case. So 1 times 4 gives us 4. And then what you do is you add these two numbers to get this number under here. So 5 plus 4 is 9. And then same thing, you take this 9, multiply it by the k value of 4. So then 9 times 4 is 36. Then negative 32 plus 36, you add them and you get positive 4. And then same thing here, you take this 4, multiply it by the k value of 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, and negative 7 plus 16, that gives us negative 9. Now, what do these numbers here represent? What did we just do? Well, the last number always represents what the remainder is. So this is the remainder. And in synthetic division, the remainder will always be a constant because our divisor has to be linear, so the remainder would be a degree less than that. So that's our remainder, negative 9. Now any numbers remaining other than the remainder, these represent the leading coefficients of the quotient. So remember in synthetic division, the remainder will always be a constant and the remaining numbers, however many there are, represent the leading coefficients of the quotient. And since we had a cubic or a degree of 3 for the dividend and the divisor had a degree of 1, we know that the quotient is going to have a degree of 2. Remember, 
it's uh, the degree of the quotient is always the difference between the degree of the dividend and the degree of the divisor. So we know that our quotient in this case is going to be a quadratic function or have a degree of two. And these would be the leading coefficients. So our quotient in this case would be one x squared or just x squared plus nine x plus four. And our remainder would be negative 9. So I wrote out the result here in a division, uh, division statement. So the dividend x cubed plus 5x squared minus 32x minus 7 is equal to the divisor, which was x minus 4, times the quotient, which we got of x squared plus 9x plus 4, minus the 9, which was the remainder. And if you compare this answer to the one that we did in the long division overview video, it's the same answer. So I would probably highly recommend that you go back and check that video just so you could compare both methods and make sure that you're getting the same result for both. Now in the next few videos, I'm going to go over a couple of more examples for synthetic division and the cases are going to be a little different. So the process is going to be a little different as well. So make sure you go through them just in case you run into those scenarios.